Hi everyone, this is John Mervin, uh, coming here to show you something really quick fast that I discovered while working on my short film, The Optimist. So I got this uh, low poly gentleman right here, he's got a hat and everything. And what I needed him to look like when he's rendered is just completely black, like black nothingness, but he needed to have a rim light. And normally how you do this is you add a light, it's pretty unexpected, yeah. You add a light and make a rim light, but I couldn't use a real light in this scene because it, it would just ruin everything. And so I needed to fake a rim light. And so I needed to figure out how to fake a rim light. And so I'm going to show you how to do that really quick. And so, oh, I hate the sound of the keyboard on the microphone. That's gross. Um, okay, so we need to add a mix shader. We got our diffuse shader right here to output blackness. And we got this material output to output output. <laughs> output output. Input output. All around put. And so let me just set this to render view so you can see what's happening. So right now it, we have them to look black, plus there's a black background, so nothing is happening. But if we add an emission shader to emit light, and we add this to the mix shader, this is basically putting half and half of what this is and what this is. And so if we set it all the way to one, oh no, it's uh, jamming. So not responding. <laughs> Oh no, call the not responding police. Oh. <laughs> um, yeah, oh, there we go. If we set it all the way up, you can see it's 100% this value. But if we take it all the way down, it's 100% this value. And so we don't want to use it just like an all or nothing type thing. We want to have it glow based on the geometry of it, like the actual mesh, this actual three-dimensional guy. And so we need to basically tell Blender to use the normals of the mesh. And so how do we do that? How do we use it to tell the normals? We, we add a normal node. Look at that. They have a normal node. And so if I just plug this in, it's not going to work. Like you see, oh, I'm using this anyway. But it's, yeah, nothing shows up because it doesn't know what the normals are. We have to tell it what the normals are. I explained that very badly. Hold on. Let me just input geometry. There we go. Uh, this geometry is taking the information directly from this 3D guy. And so I can take the normal information through here and through this normal node, I can actually control what part is emitting. And so I can make, make it like a rim light. And so you see it looks like a rim light, but this, there's no actual light in the scene part of this mesh is actually glowing and part is black. And so using this I can control which direction it is and you can do whatever you want. You can like have it like blow like a ooh a villain, like ominous bad guy, have it above all that jazz. And so yeah, this does this based on uh something. I don't know how it works. I'm not a mathematic. But uh yeah. It works though. I hope you like this video. It's just a quick thing and I'll see you next time.